presents Maureen O'Sullivan, J. Carol Nash, and Ricky Vera. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents A Fine Wedding for Angelita, starring J. Carol Nash and Ricky Vera. Now, here is your hostess, Maureen O'Sullivan. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we're to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. And now to our transcribed drama, A Fine Wedding for Angelita, starring J. Carol Nash as Louis, Ricky Vera as Mingo, with Virginia Gregg as Angelita. My name is Domingo Gonzalez, but no one has ever called me that. It is always Mingo. But now, since my miracle, maybe they will call me Domingo. Because we Gonzalezes are very famous here in Lizard City. After what happened at my big sister's wedding, my sister Angelita. My papa laughs when I say we have a miracle. And Father Anton at the church says it really wasn't a miracle. But I know. It started to happen the day Julio Gena came to ask Angelita to marry him. They didn't see me. I was under the porch. Si, sí, Julio. I will marry you. Vida mía. And we will have the finest wedding anyone ever saw. As fine as the richest girl in Lizard City. But, Angelita Mia, you know I work very hard at the oil pumps. I do not get all, much money. All my life I have dreamed of it, Julio. Sometimes I walk around in that dream so that I do not even see the poor shack we live in and the ground so hard nothing will grow but cactus and sagebrush. We will have flowers, Julio, dozens and dozens, bright and beautiful with color. And I will have a dress like nobody ever saw. It will be of silk or satin, or white, of course. There will be a veil to go with it. You must save your money too, Julio, and buy a black suit with black shoes which will shine like the sun. Where would the money come from for such a wedding? From me, Angelita Gonzalez. It is for the bride to give the wedding. Papacito cannot help, so I will go to San Antonio and get a job. San Antonio? Si, San Antonio. And I will not come back until I have saved enough money for a fine wedding. <laughs> Papa didn't want Angelina to go all alone to San Antonio. Well, all right, all right, all right, Mingo. Now, now I gonna tell it, huh? After all, I am the the, the, the father of the bride. <clears throat> well, you see, when Angelita said it was only because I was too lazy to take care of the family myself for a change, since now there is no mama no more, then I had to say she could go to prove I was not too lazy. <laughs> oh, the, the, the children, when she went away, had a good time. Some days I would let Mingo take the burro and the cart to call in my customers. And, uh, well, I, I am a junk man. Which I am going to be also in a few years. That's right. And we would only eat when we was hungry, huh, Mingo? The man is even for breakfast sometimes. Sometimes. But I don't think Angelito was having fun in San Antonio. Because she would write letters to us. I am very lonesome for all of you. The hours in the florist shop are long. Just a little more time now, papacito. When there is money for the last installment on the dress and enough left for the flowers, I will return home to you all, papa. Oh, I was so glad when Angelita came back to the Lizard City. Mingo and I, we hitched up the burro to the junk cart and we went to the station to meet her. <laughs> Julio was there too. <laughs> he also was very happy to see my daughter Angelita. I had forgotten how beautiful you are, Angelita Mia. Oh, oh now enough of that, you too. Come, come, come. Along. All right, Papacito. Okay. Julio, please, everyone is looking. Who is there to look? Juan Macias over there on his bench asleep as usual. Angelita, one kiss. Later. 
And you can see my wedding dress as soon as we get home. Caray, think of that. Put it on, Angelita. Oh, it is bad luck to put it on before the wedding day. Look, you have not seen the veil. Ah, like, like a handful of cloud. Oh, Julio, what a lovely speech to say. Has anyone in Lizard City ever had a dress and veil like this? No one. It never was a bride so pretty. <sighs> one kiss for that. Querida mía. And now for the big surprise. Wait. Papacito, Paquito, Juanita, Marie, Jose, Conchita, Lupita, George, come inside. Oh, wait till you hear, Julio. You are all here, Mingo? Yes, yes. Here, Angelita. Very well, then. Listen. At our wedding, we will have flowers. Flowers. At the wedding of Angelita and Julio, there will be flowers. Did you hear me? Well, you mean maybe daughter geraniums? We will have roses, Papacito. Ten dozen of them. Red ones, pink ones, and white ones. Fifty dollars worth. What is roses, Angelita? And where the fifty dollars is? So much worth, Angelita? So much. I have the money to pay for them. But since I worked for the florist, he's going to send them COD. It is a vast amount, even for so many roses. But I'm sure we will have a fine wedding in that case. There is one thing more. One thing that is most important of all. I have ten dollars to give to Father Anton for the poor. Ten what? In our time of happiness, we must not forget those less fortunate than we are. Oh, por Dios. Por Dios. Ten dollars for, for the poor, Angelita. Si, sí, Papa. On the morning of the wedding, you will take it to Father Anton as a present from all of us. Now, just one thing more. In San Antonio, all the stylish people get married at high mass. So Julio and I will be married. With the sun shining through the windows on the roses. Then you will all agree everything has been worth it. Look, Papacito. I put one X on this envelope. All right. It is the $10 for the poor from the Gonzaleses. All right. Now, this one is $50 for the expressman. Expressman. Here. The flowers for the wedding will be on the 8 o'clock train this morning from San Antonio. Uh -huh. All you have to do is pay the agent, Mr. Tillman. Then take the flowers to the church. All right. Sorry, can't let you have them, Lloyd. It says right here, COD, $50. You only gave me 10 But it's a big mistake, Senor Tillman. Angelito gave me the $50 for you and the $10 for Father Anton. He said right here, look, see, there is the X. Don't know nothing about that. All I know is I got to have 40 more dollars before I let you have the boxes. You better hurry it up. I notice they got a Mark Persia. But, but, but I cannot go back to Father Anton. One, one cannot ask back the money one has given for the charity, huh? But, Angelita, what, what I could do, huh? It is all right, Papacito. It was my fault. I got the money mixed no, no, up. No, 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 it was my fault. I, I gave the wrong envelope. It was... It was all for nothing. Nothing. No, 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 don't, don't cry, Nina, please. You do not think, huh? Maybe, maybe if I tell Father Anton about the mistake, he, he would return the $50, oh, huh? no, Papa. So often my Senora Madre used to say it. Money for charity one never expects back. I... Father Anton can do much good with $50. Yeah, but who in the church is going to see the roses with my so beautiful Angelita to look at? The $50 would have bought another burro for you, Papa. Who told you the burro died? Mingo told me. Oh, that Mingo, I going to fix him? Angelita, mia, do not cry on your wedding day. <laughs> Now I'm gonna find that Mingo. Mingo! 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 Oh, you, you, you are under the porch. I see you there. I'm coming, Papa. I'm ready for the whipping. And that is all that you're gonna get, but... Ah, no, letter is too hot now. Papa, where are you going? Can I walk with you? I got much thinking to do, Mingo. 
No, you stay under the porch and hide your face for shame. No, Papa, please. I'm ready for the whipping. Please, can we take a walk together? No, no, no. Papa. You, no, you stay here, Mingo. I, I, I go with nobody. I mean, I go with myself. Fifty dollars to help the poor, but, but who is more poor than me? Me. Who in all this our city is, is so poor as, as Luis Gonzalez, eh? Buenos dias, Luis. Ah, buenos dias, buenos dias. Ay, good morning, Luis Gonzalez. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, one must see it. Hey, you're going to be late getting to your bench at the station this morning, eh? Uh, the bench will be there when I get there. Uh, what brings you to the church so early? You know, Angelita's wedding, maybe? Oh, no, a few hours now. Eh? Uh. Hey, high mass, too. Just like all the big, stylish people in San Antonio. If I were Julio, I would want to know what my bride has been doing in a place like San Antonio for such a long time. Perhaps, if you were Julio. But mm. since you're not Julio, then you got nothing to worry about. Oh, here comes Father Anton. Good day, Senor Juan Macias. Uh, a beautiful day for the wedding of Angelita, Luis. But you do not look very happy. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm happy, Father Anton. It's good to know that one of my children is not going to starve to death. Yeah, you do not seem to be starving, any of you. Well, until yesterday, by working very hard in the hot sun, I could make a few centavos to keep them from starving, but, well, now I got no burro. You have no burro, Luis? Well, he dropped dead yesterday. Yeah, he was a fall down between the shaft of the cart. I, I don't understand why such things got to happen to me. Hmm. How much uh, would it cost to buy another burro, Luis? How much? Oh, I know a very fine burro can be bought for, for a little money when, oh, when one considers the excellent condition of the animal. For how much? Ah, oh, that, that padre is, is what is a lucky thing. <laughs> so, for $50. God take away everything, but then he get back again. You, Padre, have been giving $50 for the poor, huh? $50 is a fair price for a good burro. Oh, then you mean you're going you're gonna to give me the money, huh? I have a better idea, Louis. I will buy the burro myself. Oh. And I will lend it to you in the name of the church. Uh -huh. So long as you do a good job of collecting your junk. Uh, come, there is time before the wedding, Louis. I will go with you, and we will buy the burro. <laughs> We call the new burro, Papacito. Oh, why are we going to call him? Who can say Mingo, Father Anton? He's going to give him the name, maybe, since the burro, he belongs to him, huh? Where do we go now? Oh, I don't know. Wherever the burro chooses to take us, it's not for me to say Mingo. It is fun this way. Al cielo, al cielo, al cielo quiero ir. Al cielo, poor Angelita. Her eyes are still red from crying. Oh, Brisita. I thought of stealing some geraniums from Senora Lopez's garden, Papa. Oh, no, no, no. For shame, Mingo. It's, it's wrong to steal, even, even for your poor sister on a wedding day, is it? Well, I would borrow them only since they are in pots. Then bring them back after the wedding. Pots after? Uh, oh, what you say? Borrow? Oh, borrow. Uh -huh. Well, that, uh, that is not stealing, huh? See, Papa? The burro had chosen to bring us to the station. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, he, he bring us to... Hey, Mingo, Mingo, look, look, you see the box on the platform, eh? I seen him, Papa. Well, they, they the roses, huh? Angelita's roses, and, and since no one is uh, going to use them, I will borrow. And then I'm going to return them after the wedding. Uh, and this way, they're not going to be wasted. First, they're going to they're gonna look nice in the eyes of everybody who looks at them. And, and, and then, then we're going to bring them back. Huh? Of course, Papa. That is a wonderful idea. And it is not stealing. Oh, no, no. That's nice. Hey, you stay in the cart, hey, Mingo. And if you see Senor Tillman, come and call me in a loud voice. You understand, hey, Mingo? I will, Papa. But there's Juan Macias on his bench. Maybe he will see you. Oh, Juan Macias, he sleep all the time. Don't worry about Juan Macias. Eh? But if you see Senor Tillman... Loud voice, amigo. Al suelo, al cielo, al cielo quiero ir. Ah, oh oh, al cielo. Ah, he worry now. But two bar only, huh? See, I... We have them all, Papa. Yeah, I bring them. I bring them right back with me. Five boxes. 
See, one, two, three, four, five. Now, now we're going to bring them right back. Huh? Five boxes. Now we're going to go to the church. Hurry, hurry. Come on, Buro. Buro, hey, come. Oh, this Buro is no good. Come on, go, Buro. Go, go. Before I give you a name you're not going to like. Papa. Oh, what a surprise for Angelita. Her roses, all $50 worth in the church. Huh? She will think a miracle has happened. Papa. Yes, Mingo. What, what, what? I did not see Senor Tillman, but Juan. Juan, Juan Macias? Well, what about him? Was, was he not asleep on, on the bench? I think. I'm not sure. But I think he opened one eye. Hi, Senor Tillman. You look for something? Darn peculiar. It was sitting right here. Baseball boxes, maybe, Senor. Five of them. What do you know about them, Juan Macias? Uh, nothing for certain, Senor. Uh, you have to pay for them maybe if they are gone. I better not have to. Come on, who took them, Juan? I'll run you in for loitering. I do not know for certain, Senor, but I saw Luis Gonzalez put five boxes in his cart. Uh, maybe they are the ones you look for. Luis Gonzalez. Sure, should have thought of him right off, him and his darn way. Hey, Senor, I get the reward. A reward, Senor. It's just me, the father of the bride. Pase, papacito. Are you ready, vida mía? <laughs> Almost. I come just to fix the veil, Senor Gonzalez. Ah, Lola, buenas tardes. It's good of you to help my Angelita. It's easy with so pretty a bride. And you, papa, huh? you, will the good Juan Macias leave the bench and the station to come to the wedding, huh? Quien sabe, Senor? He said he might be too busy. Oh. Ah, but here come my, my sisters and their husbands. And my Antonio is with them. Well, well, well. Look, look from the window. They're just parking. Uh -huh. Oh, how elegant. Hey, you people, they look rich. Eh? No, not rich, senor, but we work hard. ¿Quién es? Mingo. Papacito. Well, 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 what, 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 what is it, Mingo? Oh, 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 I got some business. I'm coming. Angelita, preciosa, I will be back a little minute. This, this singer, he's going to start soon. Keep us. Hey, what, what is the matter with you, Mingo? Eh? It is the man from the express office. Uh -oh. That's Senor Tillman. Uh -oh. He's very angry, and the sheriff is coming. Where is it? Uh -oh. Where is Louis Gonzalez? Ah, Senor Tillman, you, you're here for the wedding, eh? You huh? know what I'm here for. No, come, please, let, let go outside, huh? you and me, because we, we don't talk about such things in the church, eh? What about these flowers? Please, a few moments, Senor Tillman, and I will put back the flowers just like they was in the proper boxes. I remember which was the white ones, the red ones, the green ones. I know them all the colors. Well, what good will they be then? Give me the 50 bucks or I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Senor, can you put the flowers back in the boxes as my papa see? And tell the express company that they were spoiling the coming? Now, what kind of express company do you think I'm running? Fifty bucks or Gonzalez goes to jail. No, no, she's pleased. Bucks, no, no, no. They, they're going to hear you in the church. I don't know why my Angelito to hear this. Or the Padre Senor neither. Gonzalez, Angelita says to come now. They are almost ready to begin. One little minute, Lola, but uh, the singer, the, um, uh, tell the singer, sing not a song, huh? All right, I will tell her. But the Padre says, oh, Father Anton, I was just telling Senor Gonzalez. We already know, Luis Gonzalez. Good morning. Father Anton Gonzalez here. Padre, Padre, I, I want to tell you something. Senor Tillman say I stole the roses. I tried to give him a, what you call the down payment, ten dollar. But see, I still got the envelope here, but he, he would not take it. They made a mistake with the envelope, Padre. The fifty dollars was for the expressman for the flowers, and the ten was for the church for the poor. And now they put my papa in jail, and he only wanted to borrow the flowers for Angelita. <laughs> Because she worked so long, such a long time for them. I got nothing to do with that. Fifty bucks or Gonzalez goes to jail. What good will it do the Flores in San Antonio to have Luis in jail? Will he get the rest of his money any sooner? No, here, here, Padre says. Mr. Tillman, send him this, then I, 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 I will pay the rest. I, I will earn it with the burro. Please, senor, my sister... And what about the express company? This here you give me is still only ten dollars. You know we'll have to make up the rest of the money. Me, I'm responsible. Minute to turn my back. I, I find it. Senor Gonzalez, the singer, she says she has no more songs to sing. No, please, please, tell it the one who plays the music, play more, play more organ, Lolita. I, I, we, we'll be in right away. Go, go. If your back was turned, Senor Tillman, how did you know what happened? 
Maybe it wasn't I, my papa, who borrowed the flowers. Juan oh, Macias back wasn't turned. My father? What about my father? He told the senor that my papa took the flowers. But it's not true. He was just going to borrow them. No, no quiet, quiet, Mingo. Padre, it's not true. We, we, we were not glad to give the $50 to the church. That's not true for the... Poor, we want to give everything. You should have come to me, Louis, when you discovered the mistake. But I, I, I did come to you first, Padre, but, but you remember... You didn't I... tell me the truth. The truth, Louis. Now, you see, you are in trouble. <sighs> uh, we will see. Uh, Mr. Tillman, cannot we say that the money you hold in your hand is Louis' down payment of $10, that the flowers are his... Senor that... Gonzalez, I am very sorry that my father made a mistake like this. If there is anything we can do... Oh, here are my sisters and their husbands and my Antonio. Maybe we can put a little more on the down payment, huh? A ver si pueden ayudar con un poco de dinero al señor González. Oh, no. oh, bueno. No, 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 my friends, please. I, 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 I cannot accept the charity for my Angelita's wedding. But this is not charity, señor González. It is only right if my father made you all this trouble. No, please, I cannot accept the charity. I don't want it. Oh, but wait. Padre, Padre, please, if these flowers could be mine with the down payment, uh, does that not mean then that I, that I could, I could, uh, <laughs> I could sell them maybe to my uh, friends, I'm huh? I'm not sure, Louis, that Mr. Tillman has agreed yet to consider the ten dollars as a down payment. We'll have to ask Of him. course, we buy your roses, Senor Gonzalez, oh, this... as a remembrance of your Angelita's wedding. Antonio... Please give Senor Gonzalez the money. Oh, no. oh, thank you, Antonio. Here, here, I'm going to give you 50 cents change. Oh, thank you, thank you, Gracias. 50 cents. Who's going to buy another flower? I will. It's going to be delivered after the wedding, after the wedding. Thank you, Gracias. A rose, a rose from the wedding. You can put them in the book and remember the wedding. Thank you. 50 cents each. Very cheap for the money. Si, I will buy one. Oh, gracias. Gracias. Gracias, gracias. Oh, here, here you are, gracias. Who else, who else for flower from Angelita's wedding? Gonna be delivered after the wedding. Papacito, there are not many left to sell. Charge a dollar a piece now. Oh, Mingo, how smart you are. Just like you, Papa. All right, those that are left, one dollar a half a piece. One fifty. One fifty. Forty-eight, forty-nine, and fifty dollars. There, there you are, Senor Tillman. No, quiet, please, everybody, wait, wait, wait. Is a ten dollar left in my sombrero? Ten silver dollars. Father Antonio. Yes, Luis? Hold out to your hand. Here, look, it's ten dollars more to give to the poor in the name of Luis Gonzalez, whose daughter Angelita is going to have the finest wedding in the whole, whole world. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Luis. And now it is time. Oh, si, sí, si, sí, Padre. Now, now I, I go tell Angelita and, and we begin, eh? Smile. Smile, Angelita, me. Smile. Come on, smile I, for you, Papa. I'm smiling, Papacito. But where have you been? I was so worried. Was nothing. My eyes, do they still look red? No, never was such a beautiful bride. Never. Ah, the music. Your wedding begins, my daughter. Oh, Papacito, I'm frightened. Angelita, look, they are opening the doors. <gasps> Papa, the roses, the roses. Come, my daughter. Yes, the roses. But how? It is like a miracle. Almost, Angelita. A miracle. since this happened. I don't know if I like it too good. Papa even talks about getting a floor stand on the corner, and Angelita has bought shoes for everyone. 
And if we don't wear them, she'll yell at us, especially me. So mostly, I stay under the porch and think about my miracle. Father Anton, he says, it isn't a miracle. But isn't it a miracle when something beautiful like the roses happen? When nobody thought it could? I think so. Maybe they will call me Domingo someday. <laughs> Maureen O'Sullivan again. You know, Family Theatre receives many letters from its listeners, most of them expressing gratitude for the message of faith and hope that this program tries to convey each week. But every so often, we receive a letter which contains its own message of faith, and when that happens, we try to pass it on to you. The following is a short poem sent to us by a woman whose son was killed during World War II. It helped her then to bear the terrible burden of grief that such a loss inflicts. And she feels that it may help others like her today. The poem is entitled, Resignation. He gave me a splinter from his cross, and there I knelt, complaining. For I could not lift the heavy load with all my human straining. And then, as I raised my anguished eyes, I saw my Savior weeping, that I could refuse to give my son back to his loving keeping. And knowing now he was lent to me, the loveliest of God's favors, I returned him to the Savior's arms and rose to resume my labors. Just a parting reminder, the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you A Fine Wedding for Angelita, starring J. Carol Nash and Ricky Vera. Maureen O'Sullivan was your hostess. Virginia Gregg was featured as Angelita. Others in our cast were Lillian Byeth, Jack Crucian, Ralph Moody, and Harry Bartell. The script was written by Wilson Bauer and Dorothy Millard Brown from an idea by Harry Hamilton, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed and transcribed for Family Theater by Lou X. Lansworth. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program by the mutual network which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lafrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home, and inviting you to be with us next week when family theater will present Employees Only, starring Joan Leslie and Arthur Shields. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.